In this video, let's see another numerical problem based on second order derivative test. Actually, it is based on maxima minima and we know that always it is better to follow second order derivative test in order to solve questions of maxima minima. The question is, if y is equal to ax minus b upon x minus 1, multiply x minus 4 has a turning point p2 minus 1, find values of a and b. Find values of a and b and show that y is maximum at p. A previous year question again. So it has both the things. It has find part also, it has show that part also. That means you have to be very proficient in all these questions. These questions will be lengthy, they'll kill maximum of your time. But still, you don't have to devote much of the time. You have to be very quick in answering the questions. Let's start with the solution. I write solution. And very quickly, let's do it as we are doing in an exam. The question is y is equal to ax minus b upon x minus 1, x minus 4. You have to directly find out dy by dx that you know. Let's start with finding that only. dy by dx is what? It is the first order derivative of y. So it is u dash v minus uv dash upon v square. But before everything happens, let's write y properly. y is ax minus b, well said, fine. And in the denominator, let's expand it. It is x square minus 5x plus 4, right? That you can al always do, easily do. So my dy by dx will be what? Now it will be very much easy. It is u dash u upon v form, u dash into v minus u means the numerator into v dash means the differentiation of denominator with respect to x, 2x minus 5 whole upon v square. v square is x square minus 5x plus 4 whole square. Right? So dy by dx has been done. Now you can always see that yes we can expand some of the terms that will be better for us. So it is ax square minus 5ax plus 4a and then it follows from minus and the multiplication of these two brackets. Right? So it is ax into 2x which is 2ax square. Now ax into 5 is minus 5ax because we have to see the sign also. 2bx in negative plus 5b in positive divided by again the whole of the denominator x square minus 5x plus 4 whole square. Now what is the idea? The idea behind all this is to use this knowledge that it has a turning point p. 2 minus 1. When there is a turning point means that the differentiation of the first order derivative I mean should be 0 on putting this value. So directly let's go with dy by dx at p. 2 would be my x value, minus 1 would be my y value. Directly we are going to solve it. a multiplied by 2 square is 4, right, minus 5a multiply by 2, so that makes it 10a, in the next step we will be doing it, plus 4a minus 2a into 4, right, minus 5a into 2, minus 4b plus 5b, in the denominator also we have to simplify, so it is x square minus 5x plus 4 whole square, x square means 4 minus, again 5 to the makes it 10 plus 4 whole square. Done? Now, let's simplify it further. Let's make things very small. They are very big for us till now. 4a minus 10a. Here also 4a, here also 4a. It is nothing but 8a. 8a minus 10a is minus 2a. And in the bracket, what do we have? 8a from here. Here also it is. 10a. So 8a minus 10a is minus 2a and plus b and in the denominator let's see 4 plus 4 makes it 8. 8 minus 10 is minus 2 minus 2 whole square is 4 and it is minus 2a plus 2a getting cancelled so it is nothing but minus b upon 4 and now you know dy by dx at P we were computing and we know it has a turning point, turning point at P. That means all this value should be equal to 0. 
that implies my b should be equal to 0 that's very clear right because if there is a turning point means there is a point wherein the first order derivative would become 0 so i have found b see i was about to find a and b i have already found b now when b has been found out definitely if you put b in this question right if you put b in the question and you also know that here we have been putting b my solution will become more simpler so let's put b in the question because it has to simplify so y is equal to ax upon x minus 1 into x minus 4 should be what should be there right when you put b in the question you can write the statement yourself now y and x are also there let's put y and x also so 2 minus 1 is there if i put here put if i name this equation number 1 put p 2 minus 1 in 1 right these questions will be very lengthy in examination also you will have not to waste many sheets on this right so it is y which makes it minus 1 a into 2 upon x minus 1 x minus 4 what is x 2 minus 1 is 1 x minus 4 is minus 2 let's solve it now it is 2 and 2 getting cancelled again so it gives me a is equal to 1 wow we have two answers to us very easy question it has become a is 1 b is 0 after we have done this after we have obtained what are the values of a and b my main task that is left is to prove that my value of y is maximum at p so for proving anything maximum minimum we need to find out the second order derivative now a and b values i know if i put it in my dy by dx let's see what happens so i'll be putting it in this dy by dx equation when i put a and b directly i can find out d2y by dx square so if this is my dy by dx and if this is named as equation number a right so i write put a and b values put a and b values in equation number a what do i get i get dy by dx first and that is equal to nothing but a that is 1 so x square minus 5x plus 4 where am i putting i am putting it here minus ax minus b where is ax 1 into x minus 0 means nothing but minus x then it is 2x minus 5 upon x square minus 5x plus 4 whole square right again let's simplify it becomes x square minus 5x plus 4 minus 2x square plus 5x and the denominator does it change no not at all x square minus 5x plus 4 whole square you cannot leave these questions these are very easy very simple only it is lengthy right so x square minus 2x square minus x square these both things cancel plus 4 upon x square minus 5x plus 4 whole square and that is your first order derivative now let's name this as equation number 2 because 1 was already done then had we done any equation as 1 yes right now we can do what we can find out d2y by dx square what is d2y by dx square second order derivative again u dash v so u dash into v minus u into v dash so it is minus u into v dash so you have to find out the differentiation you apply chain rule 2 comes here x square minus 5x plus 4 for v dash chain rule power formula you've applied then you have to again differentiate x square minus 5x plus 4 so it becomes 2x minus 5 upon u dash v minus u v dash upon v square so it is x square minus 5x plus 4 squares square is power 4 now how to check what is the sign obviously you will not be solving everything it will become very lengthy so you know that p point should be satisfying it so put p 2 comma minus 1 in d2y by dx square if i put p and if i get it less than equal to 1 less than equal to 0 or less than 0 probably not less than equal to 0 
but less than 0, I definitely would say that there is a maximum at P. So let's do it. Minus 2 into 2. In the bracket what we get is 2 square minus 2 square is 4 minus 10 plus 4 whole square minus 2. Again it is minus 4 plus 4 and all these things whatever in bracket don't matter because ultimately we have got minus 4 plus 4 which will become 0. So 0 into everything will become 0. In the denominator what we have x square minus 5x plus 4. So that is 2 square minus 5 into 2 plus 4 whole raised to the power 4. So it is nothing but what let's see. 2 twos are makes it 4 minus 4. 4 plus 4 is 8, 8 minus 10 is minus 2, whole square is 4 and then in the denominator again 8 minus 10 is 2, 2 raised to the power 4 is 16, right? So it is something which you are getting which is minus 1 and it is less than 0. Anything in negative sign will obviously mean in d2y by dx square as maximum. So that is how you do it. You have to finally write the answer that yes, the values of a are this, the value of b is this, that means the value of a is 1 b is 0 and since d2y by dx square is less than 0, so we have obtained a maximum value.